Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Dungeons and Dragons Order of the Griffin for the Turbo Graphics 16 Part 5. When we last left off, we finished exploring the Den of the Direwolves and got the Staff of Life. So, with that said, let's get started. You are standing near Radley Keep. Will you enter? Yes, we will. The first thing we want to do is head to the armory and sell some of the shit we got from the Den of the Direwolves. I think the best thing to do is go ahead and sell everything except for the two plus one chain mails. Now let's head to the spell shop and get our cleric a plus one ring of protection. Sometimes this does take a little while, but you just gotta keep looking through a shit until you find one. And there we have it. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and equip that bad boy. Since we completed our first mission by killing Column and retrieving the Staff of Life, let's go to the Hall of the Griffin and see what they have to say. My brave friends, your acts of valor are known throughout this land. Are you ready to become members of the Order of the Griffin? Hell yeah we are, sign us up! You are led into a small room. There you are told to kneel before a woman dressed in a green cloak and hood. You cannot see her face under the hood. The woman speaks slowly. Warriors for the Griffin, you are about to become members of an ancient organization, a fellowship that holds truth and honor above all. The woman draws back the cloak and hood. She is wearing full plate armor. She draws her sword and places it upon your shoulder. You are now members of the Order. Your first mission is dangerous. Take the magical staff to the crypt of Korizegi. The staff will open one of three doors. The vampire has already recovered the onyx and the ruby. Your mission is to find the other two gems that change people into undead creatures. Bring these gems back to us. This is your mission of faith. Alright, so now we have got our second mission from the Order of the Griffin. But first, let's go ahead and get our spells back and rest up. I still have some unfinished business in this town. If you watched episode 1, Lord Corrigan wanted us to go to Korzegi's Keep. He didn't say this, but he really wanted us to go there to be turned into undead creatures and become part of the vampire's army. That's right, folks. Lord Corrigan is working with the vampire and is trying to cover up for his ass. Well, that shit ain't gonna fly with me, so let's go attack his guards and run his ass out of town. Lord Corrigan is occupied at the moment and will not be able to see you now. Will you leave or attack? Tell Lord Corrigan to go to hell, and I'm attacking your ass. You attack the guard. This is a two-part battle. In the first part, you just have to fight a single fighter, but he's a pretty tough bastard with a lot of hit points. Ah, you hit me, you asshole. I don't like to use my mage spells in the first part of this battle. I always save them for the second part. Damn it, he's only got 10 hit points left. Can somebody hit him? An excellent move for Kier, and the fighter goes down. You betrayed Lord Corrigan's trust. Now you shall die. Oh yeah, we'll see about that, assholes. This is the second part of the battle, where you fight two elves, one fighter, and one mage. Please make your saving throws. Oh shit, this isn't looking good for me. I have no idea why this didn't kill my fighter. Maybe magic missile can't kill a sleeping person. 
Well, at least my cleric woke up. Let's use our hold person spell. Let's definitely target the mage and one of the elves. You can target up to three people with the hold person spell, but the more people you target, the better bonuses they get to make their saving throw. Oh shit, it didn't work on the mage. Well, at least it worked on the elf. Oh hell yeah, my fighter woke up. Let's start kicking some ass. Come on, guys, make your saving throws. Oh, no, he got the fighter again. Well, that leaves me with one choice. I'm going to go ahead and web his ass. Haha, -ha, gotcha. Oh, you asshole. Only one bad guy left, and it's the mage, and he's stuck in a spider web. Awesome! The thief and the mage gained a level, and we also got a plus one ring of protection for our fighter. If you try to go into Lord Corrigan's office, it will teleport you to the entrance of the town. Let's go to the armory and sell some of the junk that we don't need. Now let's go ahead and equip the fighter with the plus one ring of protection. And since our mage gained a level, let's go ahead and memorize some new spells. Nice, we get another web spell. I'll take it. Now let's go outside so I can get my shitty password so I don't have to fight that battle again. In the second episode, I mentioned that there was one town battle in Kelvin, so let's journey to Kelvin and see if we can take it on. That was just some annoying racer snakes. And that was some annoying ass goblins. Oh, come on. I can't fit through there. Looks like I got plenty of room. Oh, boy. What is it now? Some more racer snakes. Great. I don't have time for these assholes. I'm running. All right. I got away. You are standing near Kelvin. Will you enter? Yes, we will. Just as you are opening the door, you are knocked down. By a herd of wild animals. This battle with the wild animals is no joke. The devil swine there has the charm person spell. And I hope it didn't work on my mage, or else I might be screwed. Oh no, they charmed my mage, now he's webbing my party members. This is not going to be good. Well, shit, I guess you might as well charm him, too. Oh, no, he did charm my fighter. I'm done.
Oh, how wonderful. They just killed my cleric. And killed my thief. There is no way I'm winning this battle. Well, at least one of them went to sleep. And down goes my mage. Only thing left is my fighter, and there's no way he's killing all these creatures. My fighter's no chump. He's going down swinging. He's going to take as many of these bastards as he can with him. I hate you, devil swine. Take this. You asshole, you're the reason I'm losing. Take this. Damn it, the giant weasel killed my fighter. Your party has been defeated. Game over. So I got defeated by the herd of animals, but it took me three tries to defeat them. So when I come back, it'll be the third try, and you'll see what happened. Bring it on, wild animals. Oh shit, make your saving throw, fighter. Awesome, he did make a saving throw. Now go kick some ass. Missing is not kicking ass. I did mix up my spells this time. I got the cleric a silent spell, and I memorized the charm person spell for the mage. Sleep doesn't usually work that well in this battle, but let's go ahead and try it anyway. Well, I put one of them to sleep. And now they already woke up. Let's try to silence the devil swine so he doesn't charm any of my party members. I think that worked. We will soon find out. Stop that, you bastard. Damn it, my party members are getting hit left and right. I think the silence spell worked on the devil swine. He hasn't tried to charm anyone yet. Uh-oh, my clerk's only got 10 hit points left. I better heal him.
Let's go ahead and heal the cleric once again. Aha, I got an idea. Let's go over here and web the wyvern. Aha, I got you, bitch. Damn, that wyvern has 50 hit points. Better start doing some damage to him. Oh shit, he broke my web. That's alright, we'll just web his ass again. Damn you, Wereboard. Get away from my mage. Oh, shit. My cleric's taking a lot of damage, and I'm out of healing spells. Oh, no. One more hit, and my cleric's probably dead. The reason I memorized the charm person spell on my mage was in case the devil swine charmed one of my party members, I could try to charm him back. All right, the wyvern's dead. Oh no, that hurt. Probably one more hit and my fighter's dead. Alright, my fighter's low on health, my cleric's low on health. I need to somehow get these guys to attack my thief. I don't think he's been hit once. Go back to hell, you devil swine. Perfect. Attack my thief all you want. He's got the most hit points. You can hit my thief all you want, just don't hit my cleric or my fighter. Alright, only one giant weasel left. Let's kick his ass. You don't get any cool items from this battle, but it is worth 1500 experience. And my cleric just gained a level, perfect. Now let's go ahead and rest and get our spells back and heal up the party. Since the cleric gained a level, let's go ahead and get another level 2 spell. So what I'm going to do now is go outside and get my shitty password and end this video. 
So this concludes Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Dungeons and Dragons Order of the Griffin for the TurboGrafx-16 Part 5. I want to thank you again for watching and be sure to stay tuned for Part 6.